It was a nationwide adoption fraud scheme first exposed by the seven investigators. And tomorrow, the Macomb County mother accused of taking in more than $2.1 million from couples hoping to adopt will learn her fate. Seven investigator Heather Catalo joins us right now with a look at what's expected tomorrow and an exclusive interview with one of the couples planning to address the court. Heather? Well, Dave and Carolyn, Tara Lee is facing up to 10 years in prison as part of a plea deal, but this will be no ordinary sentencing in federal court. For the first time, dozens of her victims will be face to face with Tara Lee to tell the judge just how much she hurt them. From the birth mothers who say they were manipulated. I went through my darkest time because you wanted to line your pockets. To the couples who had hoped to adopt babies. Well, we were told it was a little boy. That's what she always wanted. And there's no little boy? No. The path of destruction was breathtaking. Federal prosecutors say Tara Lynn Lee took in at least $2.1 million in adoption proceeds, even though she was never licensed to do that work. The feds say her nationwide adoption fraud scheme impacted 160 couples in 24 states. Last summer, the 38-year-old mother from New Haven pleaded guilty to two of the 23 wire fraud charges she was facing. Lee acknowledged in her plea that she made up fake birth mothers, told adoptive couples that babies died when they had never existed, and double-matched couples with the same birth moms. You ready? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm going to in. The feds say Lee even had her co-defendant and Helica Wiggins pose as a fake birth mom named Chantal during phone calls with couples who gave Lee thousands of dollars to be matched with babies. Chantal, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Say hi, lady. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. I uh, had a little bit of morning sickness, but I'm doing good. Federal prosecutors say Lee spent that money on more than $372,000 worth of luxury goods, including jewelry and watches, and called her a scam artist who broke her victims' hearts over and over again. Lee has been behind bars since last March after the seven investigators showed her violating her bond by using a cell phone. Now her lawyers are asking Judge Bernard Friedman for leniency, and they submitted dozens of letters from friends and supporters to the court. They describe her as a woman who would do anything for the birth mothers. This is like epic, like what she did to people. Michael and Teresa Matheny disagree. Her crimes are crimes against humanity. She is a monster. The Matheny say they learned about the FBI probe into Lee's Always Hope adoption as they were driving across the country to Detroit when their son Sam was born back in 2018. I think I cried probably every day in so stress, anxiety, um, panic attacks. It was awful. The Matheny say when they arrived in Michigan, they discovered Sam's biological mom never received the $8,000 they had paid Lee for the mom's living expenses. Tara showed up in the hospital room, you know, with a Rolex and a, you know, $3,000 bag. Meanwhile, you know, our birth mom does not have a proper coat or shoes for a winter in Michigan. The Matheny's also say Lee tricked them into missing Sam's delivery, and they say she demanded more money from them before they could see the baby who was in intensive care. How's Sam's biological mom? How's the baby? You know, and she was like, so about that money. They never gave her that additional money. And while the Matheny's know they are among the rare lucky couples who ended up with a baby, they still traveled all the way from Georgia so they can tell the judge at least sentencing on Wednesday that she also hurt the birth parents as well as the couples desperate to adopt. It was hard to watch these two people who had given us the greatest gift go through something so emotional and the hardest decision they will ever have to make in their life and to see that they were treated, you know, terribly, so terribly. The Matheny say their adoption that was supposed to cost around $20,000 ended up costing them closer to $60,000 because of what they say were Tara Lee's lies. The U.S. Probation Department is recommending that Lee pay more than $1 million in restitution. It's not clear if any of the adoptive couples or birth moms will ever see any of that money. We'll see what the judge decides tomorrow, and of course, we'll be there. Triple the money. And so some oh justice for these families, but this hasn't really made it right though nothing can i suppose no i don't i don't think that it can but they really do want to have their say yeah. and they want to make it clear what was done they'll have their day in court thank you so much heather as always great job